Hi folks, Bryce from Food Vacuum Sealers Australia. Um, in this uh, article we're going to discuss um, controlling liquids and, and not sucking liquid into your machine so you, you save your machine, look after your machine and also so the bag seals up, stays sealed. Um, so we don't want to get it into this vacuum area um, and we don't want to get it into the seal area. Alright, so we've got a um, bag of stew here that we're going to vacuum seal. Um, we're going to show you firstly how not to do it. Okay, so we've got the uh, Status HP100 here. Um, great little domestic machine. So it's got a dry and a moist setting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it on the moist setting, um, leave it on normal. And we've got our stew here. Uh, we've done all the right things, folding the top down when we filled it up, open the mouth of the machine, pop our bag into the opening there, bring the lid down, lock the corners of that lid and hit the back seal. You can see that liquid climbing up into the seal area and it's up in there well and truly now. It's flipped over the seal now. Um, it'll stay on seal for a little while because we've got it on that moist setting. Uh, click the corners, unlock it. And there we go, we've got quite a bit of liquid up into the bag there. And you can see it all up through here. Now that seal seems like it has been sealed, um, but that's gonna let go fairly quickly. Okay, so here we are a few minutes down the track. You can actually see a portion there on the seal. I don't know whether you can see that properly or not. There's a portion there which actually hasn't sealed, um, basically because the liquid's gone up through it. And look, the bag's, this is only about three or four minutes and the bag's already loose. So that's already letting go for you. You probably squeeze a bit of liquid. There you go, you can squeeze a bit of liquid out through there. Um, so that's a waste of time. Okay, so effectively, if you drag liquid into your vacuum sealer, um, over time, you're one going to destroy the um, foam seals up here and down the bottom, um, and you're going to ruin your, your heat bar as well. Um, this machine, a lot of machines do have a, a pull-out drip tray to collect liquid, and like I demonstrated, it has the um, wet and the dry, or the moist and the dry, so you can have it in a moist setting. Um, if you get liquid into this, you're going to end up doing what I've just done and you get liquid in the seal and it doesn't seal up. So it does give you a false sense of security. So if you stick with us over the course of this article, we, we are going to show you three different ways of vacuum sealing liquids successfully. And that's using paper towel. It's partially freezing or freezing completely. Uh, and also using a pulse function if you have a machine with a pulse function.